Hello, divine blessings. Salaamu Alaikum. Peace from the Isis Temple um, behind the Hathor Temple in Dandara in Egypt. I've been brought back here a second time in a week by the goddess, which is just really miraculous. And I thought this time I would dedicate to making a video and bringing some of that energy and frequencies uh, through through for you guys um, so that we can all join our energy together and um, make some magic. So first let's just, uh, I wanna light a candle and dedicate, and as we light this candle, we wanna dedicate it to um, raising the light and the frequency on this planet, really bringing forth light and healing and love for all the earth and and we're just gonna let that candle burn and we're gonna uh, call upon the goddess we'll call on Isis and Hathor the Magdalene and ask them to be here with us and to really enlighten the world enlighten the planet enlighten um, all of our ways so that we can live together harmoniously and peacefully ethically morally uh, and really in sync and in alignment with the laws of creation and the laws of the universe and the way that this planet was intended to be lived upon um, which was you know a heavenly realm a garden of Eden and a garden paradise that's what we are that's who we are so may this uh, candle burn strongly throughout our uh, little ceremony we're going to do here and yeah calling on spirit to to assist with that uh energy now we're by and large alone at this temple <clears throat> but we might get some distractions coming through so let's just see how it goes i'm just going to put that candle there so first uh we're going to sit up stand up start by sitting up nice and straight straightening through the spine just closing down your eyes i'm going to um, activate some uh, energy to work through me i'm a spiritual healer a mentor and coach and so I'm just gonna let that energy and intend for that energy to flow through me from the temple, from the goddess, through me, out my hands and into you. Um, and that's my intention, but not only to you, but to all the planet, to all the world. Uh, may they really benefit from this, from this um, initiation that we're doing here together, this ceremony. So sitting up nice and straight, taking a deep breath in and exhaling. Another deep breath in and exhale. One more deep breath in and release. So just dropping into your heart space, into your body, into the beautiful feminine energy that exists within you and all around us. Just really allowing yourself to drop in we're just gonna do a bit of uh, movement to get our spine open. So just placing your hands on your knees and just gently rotating around. We just wanna get some energy moving through our spine. Our spine is our central channel through which divine energy flows into us um, and through our body. And so the more that we open and stretch the spine, the more that we can um, feel and experience and and loosen and open. And we're just gonna go in the opposite direction there. Working with the breath as well. The breath is the goddess. So breathing and moving and you know, there's really no more feminine way um, or way of being feminine than through the breath and through the body. So just oh, moving there and opening that spine right up. Okay, sitting nice and straight. Then we're gonna take the hands above the head and then we're gonna bend over. And then the opposite direction. Yes, I don't wear bras, I don't like them. All right, then we're just gonna work a little bit with the neck, so just uh, gently. Slow circles. Oh, and releasing with the breath. Oh, mm. oh, it feels good. Back to center. And then the opposite direction. Oh, just 
you're putting that neck up. Feeling all that goddess energy activating within us. Mm, just a bit of free movement. And the goddess energy is all about the movement and the flow and the hips. So if you want to stand up and move your hips, that's fine. It's just probably a bit hard for me with the camera to do that. So I'm just going to do it here in my seat, just activating that feminine goddess energy. If you're a man, you can do this too. Men also have feminine. In fact, men need to activate their feminine. Don't feel silly. Women act like men all the time. All right. Okay, so when you feel all those cracks coming out of the spine, that means that we're ready to, to go deep, to go into this um, beautiful uh, meditation that's kind of come through to share with you today. So I just want you to close down your eyes, sitting up nice and straight. Take a breath and center and grounding yourself deep into the earth. I'm gonna go on a journey. And so you're walking through a vast, beautiful desert. And up ahead, a temple rises out of the sand, beautiful as it is majestic. It is the temple of the goddess, and it is calling you for. You're wearing all white, you intuitively know and feel that you are going on a deep spiritual journey. <sighs> Breathe. You find yourself at the steps of the temple. And you start to make your way up barefoot, one step at a time. <sighs> As you pass through the great pillars, obelisk pillars, you run your fingers across them as you feel the ancient symbols, drawings and depictions of the goddess. <sighs> Breathe. As you enter the temple, it is illuminated by seven priestesses wearing white, each bearing an oil lamp. <sighs> Breathe. They slowly usher you into the temple. You can feel the love and the radiance emanating from these priestesses of the light as they guide you deeper and deeper into the ancient goddess, Egyptian temple. <sighs> Breathe. You are ushered into a small room at the center, known as the Holy of Holies, the place where the priests and priestesses worship the goddess. Breathe. As you enter the chamber, you are drawn to the center where a stone lays and a comfortable mat for you to sit on as you go on a deep and powerful journey in the Holy of Holies in the Goddess Temple. Breathe. The priestesses come in and line you with seven oil lamps in a circle all around you before leaving you to journey with the goddess on your own. <sighs> Breathe. You sit in meditative position and instantly feel a powerful energy coming over you. 
a triangular shaped cylinder of light powers its way through the heavens, through the top of the Holy of Holies, covering your body before penetrating deep through the temple grounds, deep to the center of the earth. Breathe. You start to feel the presence of the goddesses, the Magdalene at the front of the triangle, Isis at the left back of the triangle, and Hathor at the back of the right triangle. Breathe. You are immersed in this trinity of divine feminine light. Allow yourself to be initiated into the deeper mysteries and the deeper experience of the goddess. Breathe. Receive now her blessings. Receive now her love. Feel her in your heart. Feel her in your body. <sighs> Breathe. And now we're going to take a moment of silence to receive a message just for you from the goddess. Whatever it is that you need to know right now, whatever key they wish to give you, experience, initiation, guidance, activation, receive it now in private, in the Holy of Holies, in the Temple of the Goddess. Now that you have received your gift from the goddess, from the holy of holies in the temple, I want you to see yourself bowing deeply before her in service, reverence, worship, and utter devotion to the goddess within and without. <sighs> beautiful and so while we're here in this beautiful space this beautiful energy I would like to offer up a prayer for all the earth for all mankind that we may ascend that our planet may be saved and elevated to the highest potential that the Garden of Eden may once again be restored on earth that peace may descend upon us and that every man and woman on this planet awakens to the truth, the divine truth, the holy truth of who they are. And so it is. Amen. So we're just going to finish up today with a divine message from the goddess. I've got some cards here. I'm going to shuffle them and pray. Pray to the goddess that she bring through a beautiful divine message for all the people that are um, watching right now, who are meditating with us, who are joining their beautiful frequencies um, on the earth. Uh, this is my, my uh, 
Hey, necklace. It's a Hebrew letter. Name of God. And, or well, goddess, actually. Name of the goddess. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to just give us a divinely inspired message. Goddess. I'm just looking at all the Isis depictions on the, on the roof. Okay, let's see what we got. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. And what I'm feeling from this card is that this is what this is all about. You know, I'm here alone at this temple, but knowing that all of you are with me and that together we have such power to, to liberate the entire earth and, and we can't do it alone. We have to do it in, in union, in tandem. This is not the time to be trying to do everything on our own. This is the time to be reaching out. This is the time to be connecting. This is the time to be joining our frequencies and our energies in service of something greater. One person alone is powerful, but two or more, therein lays the power of God. And I think this is just a reminder that none of us are alone, that all of us are, are ultimately um, connected and that there is always assistance and guidance. And the other thing I want to mention is that if you are struggling, if you are suffering at this time, go and get some help. Go and get some help. I personally work with people all the time and I personally work with healers and mentors all the time because you don't have to do it alone. None of us have to do it alone. And quite frankly, it's impossible to do it alone. Close to impossible to do it alone. So, May we all be connected in our soul family. May humanity be unified and, and brought together under one bend, um, one umbrella, um, one slogan, one way, one word, one world. And I just pray that we all remember that there are no barriers, there are no borders. We are all unified. We are all children of God and Goddess. Every one of us. Ah, and the energies and frequencies here are just so beautiful and I just want to transmit them all to you, to you all. And thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. And, you know, if you feel that th th there was something valuable and there's something that can assist, it is my intention that this transmission be for the upliftment of all mankind, especially in preparation for the 1212 and the 2112 gateway. And so if you feel you would like to share this and distribute these energies further and further, um, then so be it. So God bless. Salaamu Alaikum. And uh, see you all next time. Namaste.